Blake receives a copy of his bank statement and finds he is overdrawn. He has a negative amount in the balance. So uh, this is the statement in terms of a graph. He starts sa he starts a saving plan. The graph below shows the amount of money Blake hopes to have in his bank account if he follows his saving plan for n weeks. Okay, so let's look at the graph that he got from the uh, bank. So, so this is number of weeks. So when he got the statement, so let me make up a table. N is N is the number of weeks and S for the number of saving. So when he got the statement that is zero, he had a saving of minus 200. Now if you look at the uh, steps here, so this is minus 100 and this is zero, yeah. So this is going up in 20s. Okay, so this, after week one, uh, he had, this is uh, my, minus 200, this is minus 180, and this is minus 140. Okay, I'm not going to write all the values. When it is zero, oh, in the fifth week, so let me directly go to the fifth week. He had a saving of zero. That means he had no overdraft. Okay, so in the tenth week, he had a saving of 200. Okay, now what is this telling me? Okay. Uh, now, what's the question? So, if you look at when he got the statement, he had a debt of minus 200. There was an overdraft. So, after five weeks, he had, so let us go from, uh, you can go even from 0 to, uh, 0 to 1, the overdraft, oh, this is minus 180, this is minus 160. So, I made a mistake here. Sorry. So, this should be minus. 160. Okay, so this is minus 180 and this is minus 160. So yeah, this is increasing by how many dollars? This is increasing in by $40. So this is increasing by 1. If you look at this rate, this is increasing by $160 and this is increasing by 4 weeks. This is increasing by, so this is $200. In the tenth week, okay. So in the tenth week, this is two hundred dollars. This is two hundred, and this is increasing by five weeks. So if you look at the ratio between weeks, and, or the rate of increase in weeks and the number of, uh, sorry, this is the rate of increase in the saving, and this is the rate of increase in the week. So this is a straight line, okay. So this, when we join the points, I hope you understand this is a straight line. So yeah, the great, the first thing that we can say is the gradient of this line is 40. The gradient of this line is 40. But what does that gradient mean in terms of this $40 here? So I hope you understand he's saving $40. Can you understand? He's saving, every week he's saving $40. So the next week again he's saving $40. The next week he's again saving $40. So the rate, so the first question, let's read the first question. How much does Blake plan to bank each week? So from the graph I can say he's planning to save 40 or bank $40 each week. Okay, now the next question is give the equation, give the equation of the graph for Blake's saving plan in terms of dollars. Uh, the amount in Blake's account and n the number of weeks. So let us say S is the saving, S is the saving, S for saving, and n for number of weeks. So we want to write a formula between uh, the number of weeks and number of, or the amount of saving. So now this is a straight line, so the gradient to be saw is 40. Our gradient is nothing but the change in y over change in x. So this is changing by 40, this is changing by 1. This is 160, this is 4. So if you take the ratio between these two, it's 40. If you take the ratio between these two, is again 40. Okay, so I hope you know the equation of a line is given by this formula, y is equal to mx plus c, where m is the gradient where m is the gradient, 
and C is the Y intercept. C is the Y intercept. So in this graph, we can say the gradient of this line is 40. And the Y intercept, this is your Y intercept. This is your Y intercept. Intercept. So we can say the C, C in, K, in this our case is minus 200. And your gradient is, this is your M. This is your M. So we can say this is your general formula. So I'm going to say this is this is your y and this is your x. Okay. So we can say well s your saving for this Blake, for Blake is 40 times n or 40 n minus 200. 40 n minus 200. Okay. Let's look at the next question, which is. A very interesting question. Okay, let me scroll up. Okay. So here, yeah, let me write this again here. Yeah. So S is 40 N, 40 times N minus 200. Okay. Blake's grandmother thinks he should be saving more. Okay. So what is she? She is giving her, giving Blake an incentive here. Yeah? Okay. At the end of four weeks, she came to know what Blake is doing maybe at the end of four weeks. She tells him that if the amount in his bank, bank account at the end of nine weeks is $300, she will give him $50. So yeah, if you look at the graph, in the ninth week, he is not, if he continues in this pattern, he is not going to have $300. So yeah, in the ninth week, he is having, in the tenth week, he is, so in the 10th week, we know he has a saving of 200. So if he goes in this pattern, if he went without any change, in the 9th week, he would have got $40 less. So he would have got only $160. Now he has to change the plan because he wants to get, if he wants to get this $50, he has to save more. He increases the fixed amount that is the $40 that he was doing, he saves each week from the end of week four. Okay, he finish his, he reaches, he reaches his grandmother's target of 300 in his account and the, and banks the $50 from his grandmother. He continues savings at the increased rate after banking the $50 from the grandmother describe how the graph changes from week four onwards. So this is a very interesting question. So in week four, in week four, how much did he have? So this is a week four. So he's got, get this is at zero. So this is, in week four, he has got uh, $40 less. So he has got minus 40 overdraft. Okay, so let me, so when he, at the end of week four, at the end of week four, so let me write N and, v and S. At the end of week four, he had a saving of minus 40. And his aim is at the end of week nine, he wants to have a saving of 300. So this, this is the information. So yeah, I hope you understand the graph would look different from year, from week nine. It has to go steeper from year to attain 300. Okay, so yeah, let me delete this to draw the graph from year to year. So yeah, so this is week four and week nine. This is oh, this is week four. This is week four, and from week four in week nine, he wants to attain. This is week nine. He wants to attain how much? 300 so this is 300 year am i right this is 300 so this is week nine he wants to uh, he wants to have a saving of 300 so this is where he was uh in week four in week four he had a saving of minus 40 or he has an overdraft of so week four he has a saving of minus 40 that means he's has got an overdraft now his plan is to go from year to year. 
Okay, so this is how he plans to go from year to year. He wants to go like this. So the question is, at what rate is he saving now? I want you to think about this. This line has a gradient of 40. So this line has to have a gradient more than 40. Okay, now for that, so let me delete this so that you see only what is necessary. Now, to find the equation of a tangent, so equation of a line, the first thing is for this, in this case, the y-intercept was clear, okay, and uh, you had to find the gradient. So yeah, let's find the gradient. So from here, let us join these two points. Okay, so what's the rise? I'm talking about this red line. So this is your rise and this is your run. So your saving, Blake's saving was minus 40 and now it has reached 300. So he has saved. In the rise is minus 40 to 300. The rise is 340. The rise is 340. The run is from week 4 to week 9. So the run is 5. Sorry, the run is, yeah, this run is 5. From 4 to 9, the run is 5. So the gradient of this red line, I want to do this on this so that you can see the graph. The gradient is rise over run, which is 340 over 5. 340 over 5, so let me use my calculator. So I don't want to do mistake. 340 divided by 5 is 68. So the gradient is 68. Now what does that gradient mean in terms of Blake? Okay, the gradient of the line is 68. So here the gradient, so let me go come back to this question. The gradient of this line, of this orange line was 40. The gradient was $40. So when the gradient was $40, what was 40? 40 was a saving. That was at which rate he was saving. Okay, and so in this case, you can say this is the new rate of saving. This is the new rate of saving. So he's saving $68 now instead of $40. So this is the new rate of saving. Okay, so yeah, <clears throat> from this, when it is week nine, okay, so yeah, let's answer the question. Describe how the graph changes from week four onwards. So from week four, the graph would go from year to year like this. And in week nine, what happens? He got, he has saved up to 300. And then he has got a, sa he has been given, uh, then he has been given $50 by his grandma. So let me remove this. So the next part, in week nine, there will be a jump. So this is 300 and this is 400. So this is 350. So from here, this is again, so you can't join from year to year. So again, this is week nine. After getting 350 from his grandma, he, your, he will have a graph somewhat like this, having the same steepness. So it will go somewhat like this. Okay, so this will be, this will how his graph would look like from week 9 onwards. So here there will be a graph, you should not join this too. So this is what he saved by saving $68 per week and then he got a $50. So from 300 he jumps to 350 and then he has the same gradient or the same slope. Okay, so let's describe that. Okay, so we can say, let's describe it. So you don't need the y-intercept. So yeah, he continues saving and fifty dollars. So you can say he his new rate of saving, new rate of saving is how much? Is sixty-eight? Is sixty-eight dollars? Okay. So so from week nine, from week nine week 9 he saves $68 you will start from 350 okay the rate 
the rate of saving remains the same from week 9 rate does not change does not change or rate of saving does not change but the graph but the graph jumps jumps from 300 jumps from $300 to $300 to $350. So let us do a sketch of what the whole story is about. So, so this is your y-axis, so this is your y-axis, and this is your x-axis. So on the x-axis, we, we are taking the number of weeks, so N for number of weeks, and S for saving. Now, this is only a sketch. So when it is zero week, it was minus 200. Okay, so till the fourth week, say it is, say my fourth week is here, so this is 4 comma minus 40 year. So this is minus 40 year. This is where maths comes into play, you can understand. And say this is not drawn to scale, so this is say week 9. So this is week 4. Say this is week 9. In week 9, he is, so this is your first part of the, this is the first part. He is saving at this rate of $40. And then he is, the, the line increases the steepness. So, so in week 9, so let us say this is, uh, this is the next part. In week 9, this is the second part. So this is the first part up to week 4. So in week 9, he got, he reached the target of $350. And from week nine, from three three hundred dollars. Sorry, so this is three hundred dollars. So from year to year, there's a jump. So this is again week. This point is nine comma three fifty. Nine comma three fifty. He maintains the same rate. So it will have. It will be parallel to this. Okay. It will have the same gradient. That means it has the same slope. Can you see these two are parallel? So this is from week 9. So from 0, this is where he started the saving. When he had a negative gradient overdraft, he has got an overdraft in week 4. In week 5, so this is week 5, he has got no overdraft. And from here, he is starting saving. So in week 9, he got a saving of 300. And this is where he got uh, the $50 from his grandmother, and he continues saving at the same rate. So this has the same gradient. 